Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest Node.js deployment you've ever seen. So we're going to do this deployment with Caddy, Docker, and a Docker Compose, and we're going to deploy the application onto a DigitalOcean droplet. But you could use this method to deploy an application onto AWS EC2 instance, or even a Raspberry Pi, any VPC will do. So this is what we're going to build. So we're going to have our VPC, which is in this case is going to be a DigitalOcean droplet. And then we're going to have Docker on that droplet. And then we're going to have a Caddy server, which uses a reverse proxy to make requests to our Node.js application. And all these requests are going to be made over TLS. So why are we using Caddy? Well, there's two main reasons why you would use Caddy. And the first one is automatic TLS or SSL or HTTPS, whatever you want to call it. The correct term is TLS. And easy configuration. And when I say easy configuration, it is by far the easiest configuration you've ever seen. So Caddy is an alternative to Nginx or Apache. After you watch this tutorial, I doubt you'll ever reach for Nginx or Apache ever again for a side project. First, we'll walk through what we're going to be doing. So we're going to be setting up a Docker file and a Docker Compose file. And then we're going to create the Caddy file. And then we're going to create a deploy script. Next, we'll create a DigitalOcean droplet, and we'll point our domain at the droplet. And then we're going to SSH into the server, pull our repository, and run the deploy script. And then finally, we're going to verify that our application has TLS enabled with this SSL labs SSL test. So if we have a look at what I have here, I have a small node application that just runs a HTTP server that's served on port 4000 and the host is 0.0.0.0. .0 this is important because you don't want to use local host here, like that. Docker will not like that, and you will have lots of problems. So you need to use 0.0.0.0. .0 .0. This application has a couple of dev dependencies. We have the node types package, and we have TypeScript. And we have one script, and that's a build script. So if we quickly run this application and check what it does, you can see that it serves one endpoint on port 4000. And if we curl that endpoint, we can see that it will just return hello world. And we have hello world here. So the first thing we'll do is create a Docker file. And this Docker file is going to be responsible for building our application. So we'll use the Node 14 Alpine image. So this is Node version 14, and the Alpine image is just a little bit smaller. We're going to add the package.json to a temporary folder. We're going to run a command to remove our build folder. We're going to go into our temporary folder where our package.json is, and we're going to run npm install. We're going to add the source directory, and we're going to remove the node modules from source directory, and we're going to copy the node modules into this temporary folder. Next, we're going to set the work directory as the source directory. Because this is a TypeScript application, we need to run a build script. And finally, we need to start our application with Node. And you might be wondering why we aren't exposing a port here. So we would expose port 4000. It's because we're going to use Caddy to proxy into this application. So we don't need to expose this application. The next thing we're going to do is to create a Docker Compose file. We're going to use version 3.7. We're going to create services. So this should be docker compose.yml. I'll get better syntax highlighting now. We're going to call our application node app. The container name is going to be node app. We're going to set one environment variable, and that's the node m is going to be production. We'll add build and then context. So this is our node application image ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is to create our Caddy image. So it's going to pull the image from Caddy Alpine. Again, this is just a smaller version. The container name is going to be Caddy service. We want it to restart unless it's stopped. We also want to restart our node application unless it's stopped. We're going to expose port 80 and port 443. So port 80 is for HTTP requests and port 443 is for HTTPS requests. Caddy requires that we add some volumes here. So this one here is going to be our Caddy file. It's going to be moved into this um, etc Caddy Caddy file. Finally, we need to add our volumes. The next thing we need to do is to create a Caddy file. So this is a lot like a Docker file, but for Caddy. 
So my application is going to be caddy.snipped.io. And I'm going to reverse proxy to our node app on port 4000. And I'm going to add this header here, strict transport security, with a max age of this number here. So you, if you don't want to add that header, you can remove this line here, but we do want to add this in this case. The last thing we want to do is add a deploy script. So add deploy.sh. This deploy script is going to be used to run some commands for us, so we don't need to type them into the terminal every time we want to deploy. So this one here is just going to echo out pulling, and that's going to run a git call. The next one is going to echo out building application, and it's going to run Docker Compose in detach mode, and it's going to run build. So let's push these changes to GitHub, and we are ready to create our DigitalOcean droplet. So we're on our DigitalOcean dashboard. If you don't have a DigitalOcean account already, you can sign up with my referral link that will be in the description below, and you'll receive $100 of credit, and I'll receive $25 of credit. If you don't want to use that link, that's OK as well. So click Create, and click Droplet. And we want to create our droplet from a marketplace image. Select the Docker image. This image will have Docker installed for us already. Otherwise, you'll have to install Docker manually. If you click regular Intel SSD, you can select the $5 a month plan. Select a region that's closest to your customers. Select your SSH key. If you don't have one, you should set one up or you can use a password, but I highly recommend setting up your SSH key. You can name your droplet anything you like, so I'm doing full name caddy, and then click Create Droplet. Once your droplet's finished creating, click the little copy button next to the IP address. Come over to your domain name registrar, mine is Namecheap, and click Add New Record. My host is going to be a subdomain, so I'm calling it caddy, and it needs to point to your DigitalOcean droplet IP address. If you don't want to use a subdomain, you'll need to use this at symbol and point that at your IP address. Click OK. Now that our DigitalOcean droplet has finished building and we have our domain pointing at our droplet, we can SSH into the droplet. Run apt get update to update Ubuntu's repository. Run apt get install git to install git. cd into slash bar. Clone your git repository cd into the git repository, run chmod on the deploy script so we can execute it, then execute the deploy script. And that is your application deployed and running. We can see the Docker containers running with Docker container ls, and we can see how we have our node application and the caddy server. So the last thing we need to do is go to our domain to make sure Caddy is responding. And we can see hello world. So if we inspect the network request, we can see that the response includes this strict transport security, which means it's coming from Caddy. The last thing we need to do is run this SSL test to make sure that our website is actually hosted through a secure connection. You can see that SSL Labs has given us an A+. If you find this video helpful, please drop a like and a subscribe. Thank you for watching.